What's going on YouTube? All right, so figured I'll bring you guys into a tabletop review of some binoculars that I have actually just purchased. Uh, as you guys know, hunting season for me is basically kicking in effect. And so I really haven't had any uh, high-end binoculars, uh, more or less just something off the shelf from Walmart, you know, under the $20 range. And they, you know, some of the binoculars that I've actually purchased with a low end price weren't too bad. Uh, but now that I'm getting more in depth with my hunting and long range shooting, I pretty much figured out that, you know, I need something a little better with a little bit more bifocal, I would guess you would consider it as, uh, more longer range, more uh, width wider view something that won't fog up something that's waterproof and so here's what I decided to go with the Leopold uh, Rogue I don't know if I say it right Leopold people say it a lot of different ways so just bear with me correct me you know in my uh, misinterpretation of the name uh, these are the Rogue yeah, they are the center uh, focus, uh, inverted, poral prism, whatever that is, 100% waterproof, and these things are phenomenal. I just got them today, and I've already been playing around with it. You know how it is, you know, big boy toys or whatnot. So, yeah, I actually uh, did some long range viewing. Uh, I have a nice mountain mountain view from my backyard, and got really really good views of how far I can actually see with these uh, also I was doing some night gazing tonight looking up at the moon and you can actually see the crevices and the craters and stuff like that on the moon or whatnot so I mean they they reach out pretty well uh, they have a nice eye relief so you don't have to be too close up to them and I'll, we'll get into depths on the functioning of them so bear with me as I stated uh, this is pretty much you know a new item to me and I'm not very familiar with monoculars binoculars whatever uh, specification is the magnification is eight times field of view uh, feet wise is at a thousand yards 337.0 Field of view, a uh, thousand millimeters. Uh, Aguilar field of view degrees is 6.4. Weight is only 12.7 ounces. Uh, they are really light. Um, weight, G, whatever. Uh, 360.0. Length, 4.3, which I really like because they are pretty well compact. Uh, the length, 109.0. Objective aperture 25.0, twilight factor 14.1, XL papel 3.1, eye relief 15.0. Um, let's see what else we got here. Inner polarity distance 57.0 slash 71.0, close focus distance 14.1. Uh, close focus distance 4.3 100% waterproof uh, these are backed by 100% lifetime limited warranty which I really like I almost went with Vortex but I'm a really big fan of Vortex don't get me wrong but I ended up going uh, this route and I found these for a really good deal on Bass Pro Shop at $79, so not bad at all, honestly, especially for, you know, the name brand. Um, Leopold binoculars, VX1 Rogue binoculars are the result of hundreds of hours of, medic excuse me, I suck at reading, meticulous design and rigorous testing at the Leopold and Stevens State of the Art Pacific Northwest campus here, blah 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 blah, and whatever else. So, booyah. Um, what comes with these binoculars? Uh, you get a pretty nice sling. I'll show you here. 
really nice sling you know it's not just just a cord pretty much um, you got the logo on there I'll back you guys up excuse the dirty table it's my rifle cleaning table so yeah there's your view there the sling's not bad I wouldn't mind getting me a nice little chest harness because uh, during hunting it just I mean these are actually lights I don't think I really need a chest harness but I think the chest harness is just you know a little bit more comfort so as you see there uh, they come with lens covers uh, the lens covers snap on actually pretty good I mean it's pretty secure yeah I guess they would consider it as the bikini lens covers or whatnot uh, so there's not an actual clamp or a clip or anything like that. They just pretty much bikini right on top of it. Um, but you can see they're pretty pressure wise. But I mean, if you was to be hiking, I wouldn't consider keeping these on because they probably would fall off if they uh, brushed up against your clothes or if you know you're rock climbing or whatever it is you're doing. These will probably eventually fall off and you will probably lose them. You have your uh, zoom focus right in here I've already did my settings so it's all you can see I got it on plus uh, another cool thing about this is if you wear eyeglasses or you don't like the binoculars to be too close to your face you know such as this area here then it has an extension the extension does not interfere with your settings so you can have your settings and keep it at your settings and still adjust these and your settings will stay Excuse me, that's my cell phone. Um, <laughs> then you have your 8x25 here where you basically adjust, you know, to uh, your satisfactory of zoom in, zoom out, or whatnot, or pretty much your focus. These do have a green lens. I don't know if you can see there. And basically what that is for is reflection to keep non-reflective items from reflecting too much. I thought I would give you an example so you can see my light bulb there and it's not giving an it gives a reflection to where you can see the light but it's not reflecting off it as it would if um for instance i don't know if this is going to work but you guys pretty much know what i'm talking about by the way that's my nice little g-shock watch but i'm trying to get a reflect you guys know what i mean you know like a watch would reflect light off um, these are supposed to not be able to reflect light off so you can see I uh, wanted camo just for the fact, you know, that I hunt coyotes and coyotes see black very well. Uh, but these will actually work. It's not going to affect me none. 50% uh, of the time I'm wearing gloves, so my gloves will, you know, pretty much cover over them. And then I can drop them down into my shirt or whatever. So they're really nice, really light. I like how compact they are. So there's just, you know, pretty much view there it's got a uh, waterproof and uh at 100 percent these are fog proof they're filled with nitrogen or whatever it is i'm not your expert as you can tell another cool thing it comes with a holster i'm not a big fan of it just for the simple fact that the threading on this don't seem too too sturdy i mean eventually over time it will probably rip but it is a nice holster so let me know if you guys have any questions you'll be seeing me put these to the test out on the field a lot uh during my coyote hunting and i got a javelina hunt coming up next year around the end of february so these were going to come in really handy with scouting and you know pretty much scoping things out looking around trying to find you know what i'm hunting so I thought I would just drop a tabletop review for those of you who are out there looking for uh, a nice pair of binoculars. Uh, Leopold, you guys know the name brand. Um, they're pretty famous and uh, pretty well known for, you know, their durability and quality and et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned. As I stated, I'll update you guys with more information on these binoculars uh, as I put them to the test. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And that's pretty much it from uh, here. Much love and respect. God bless you guys. I'm up and out. Peace.